Hello and welcome to the set of dialogue at the Woodrow Wilson International Center for Scholars. Uh, welcome to our YouTube viewers. Uh, I've just had a discussion with Eliza Griswold, the author of this terrific book, The Tenth Parallel. And uh, Eliza, I'll begin by asking you about the significance of the title. So the title comes from the line of latitude uh, that's 700 miles north of the equator. And between the equator and this line of latitude, 700 miles to the north, Christianity and Islam largely meet across a 9,000 mile long fault line and in both Africa and Asia. So I spent the past seven years traveling along this place where the world is really breaking apart to see what is actually happening on the ground. You write, I wanted to go where such lives are actually led, where wars in the name of religion are not internet media campaigns to control a global narrative, but actual wars fought from village to village, street to street, corner to corner. Yes, that's exactly right. I wanted to break down any oversimplified na na notion of the clash of civilizations, and I wanted to talk to people and see how they live in peace and how they come to blows in villages, mega slums, floods, droughts, and all kinds of scenarios across this fault line. Does this, uh, the media narrative, yeah. you call it, the global media narrative, does it match the reality on the ground in any way? It doesn't. It, 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 what happens is when there's a flare up, and we've certainly seen this from threats of burning the Quran to you know what's going to happen at ground zero. When there's a flare up, that's what get, gets broadcast to the other and that's extremely dangerous. Does that make its way to Sudan or, or wherever the, those, the ground mosque or the ground zero mosque debate, does that make its way 100%. into this world? 100%. You know when somebody stands up and says we're going to burn Qurans, people do die. People die in Afghanistan for comments like that. So when we see a crazy Quran burner and we think, how, why do they think we're at risk from the so-called Christian West? That's why. The Quran burner is just like Osama bin Laden. This is one insane voice in a much larger spectrum that we have to better understand. Did you encounter the uh, clash within Islam? Most of what I was looking at and most of what I found to be true is that the most relig important religious clash we're overlooking is the clash inside of religions, not the clash between them. It's the fight between Sunnis, Shias, liberals and conservatives in Christianity and Islam over who's going to speak for God. And it's an important point. My question didn't reflect it, but it's also a clash within Christianity, not just within Islam. It's a clash within Christianity, too. It's a power struggle over who's going to control the shape of this, this religion in the future. Uh, Eliza, thank you, and congratulations on completing this seven-year project. Uh, the book is available in bookstores right now. And if you'd like to hear more of this interview with Eliza or an extended interview, uh, visit us on the web at www.wilsoncenter.org. If you look in the upper right-hand side of the screen, you'll see a tab for dialogue. Click that and you can see a complete 30-minute interview. Thanks.